Good afternoon, everyone. I'm here in Regent's Park this afternoon. Uh, I'm with a veteran of the All African Games, Commonwealth Games, World Championships, and the Olympics. Yeah. I'm honored to have an Olympian this afternoon at the Art and Proud African LGBT YouTube channel. Can you please introduce yourself? Yes, thank you very much. My name is Pascal Owol. As you have said, a veteran. All, all Africa Game, Olympics, Commonwealth Game, Championships, and many more, including IWF Grand Prix, Super Grand Prix. Uh, I've run for Uganda since 1998 up to 2008. And all this have done a lot for Uganda. And uh, during the time I was running, I had my own personal issues as a person. And that is being a, a person who's gay. Okay. And I was still running until one time when I decided to come out. And when I come out, with all what I've done for Uganda, being seen as a person who is a mad or who should not be integrated with other people because they, they, they see you as a, somebody who is not normal. Yes. And I personally, I have run in different parts of the world, in Germany, whatever, all the European Union, including Australia, Canada. I have run with so many gay friends educated, they do each and, each and everything, and they also know as well serve the community. But in Uganda, the moment you are perceived, you, you are being seen as a, a, a gay, the community cannot accept you. And once the community cannot accept you, then they have already sent a signal to the government that you should not be there. See? Is that why you you find yourself in the United Kingdom? Yeah, I find myself in the United Kingdom because here I live freely. In Uganda, I cannot live freely because, I mean, they, if you are gay, you can be gay, but you should not come out. Because if you come out and they let you live freely, they are saying you are promoting what you, what you are. So it's difficult. You cannot be, you can be in Uganda alive, but you are like in captivity. My experience in the UK has given me lots of opportunity. One, to interact with the LGBT, LGBT community around in London and then around the UK. And then also to exchange with the different community who they are not gay, but they, they know that being gay in Britain is not a crime. Wow. See, it's not a crime, like in Uganda. That's really nice to hear. Y yes, like in Uganda. In Uganda, if you are a gay person, they, they see you as a criminal. They, 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 they treatment. It's unfortunate. Yeah, it's unfortunate, yeah. The, 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 the treatment is the same as a, uh, it's the same uh, the way they... An arm robber. Yes. I mean, <laughs> they, they, they will treat you like uh, the same way they are treating uh, thieves or <coughs> criminals or, uh, let me say uh, those, uh, militia, yeah, mm. they, yeah, you see. But even those people, when they, they arrest them, they can't give them any kind of a green light. Yeah. But you, when they see that being gay, you can be gay and be underground. Nobody will come and harm you in Uganda. Mm -hmm. But the moment you come out... You can't express yourself. No, you can't express you can't. yourself. You can't be who you are. You can't be who you are. Yeah, and this is the... The, 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 the difficult, the, 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 the biggest challenge, the difficult, gay people in Uganda are facing. You, you, you remember, I think, two months ago, three months ago, during lockdown, when they were surrounded, they were, they, the treatment, I think, somewhere in Kampala. They were beaten. Yeah, and they were beaten. COVID-19 really, really caused a lot of problems for myself because I was a... I used to go and meet friends, like uh, we used to meet in GAY, socialing every Saturday, yeah. and uh, going to f other friends' house, things like that. So when COVID-19 came and then uh, the, the government here lock, make the lockdown resolution, uh, it really, really, in the beginning, it really disturbed me and I was thinking too much. Oh dear. But when we start the 
Zoom, uh, uh, Zoom community of the LGBT community on Zoom every Saturday, mm -hmm. it gave me a bit of relief because you could hear from mm -hmm. all the members, other friends, what they go through, and then I could uh, now put it to myself, then I said, okay, I'm not alone. So, so, sorry to interrupt you. When you say we started the Zoom, uh, how do you mean? Who started the Zoom meeting and all this? Can you share with our viewers? They, they out of out on proud. Okay. They out of out on proud. Oh, great. They, 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 the leader. Okay. They, they, they created the they created the Zoom for all the the LGBT members. That's good. Of, of our group, and then uh, after that, uh, Pal was giving us a lot of a uh, opportunity to share experience okay. among each other. All right. And then uh, I, I got relieved. Like every Saturday we would meet and then he talk and then he hear from one another the experience they go through and That's then I good. add that to myself and then after I found that okay though I was thinking too much um, I'm not alone to, to fight this That's good. and uh, it was good idea like right now I am on a challenge also for mental mental. Mental, mental health, health, yeah, anxiety, oh, uh, depression. Really uh, today I'm being nom nom nominated by my friend, Norbert Novel, to 25 times, 25 days of 25 press up every day. That's good. So I'm also doing it, and then he, all, including the LGBT community all around the world who are being depressed, who are being tortured, who are being mistreated, and he, also to bring them on board. That's good. It's really nice having you on our program. I hope you hit our call when next we need you to come and share your experience on I, this program. Yes, I mean, out and proud has uh, helped me. I am now, when I, every time when I do anything with out and proud, because they, they made me more strong, the person I am. That's so, yeah, they, 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 they have made me to, to get to know what I, whom I am. That's really Even good. when I was still here, and uh, I've not yet met out and proud, I was still like, a, I don't know anybody. Okay. Though I was working and uh, I would interact with other gay people, but as soon as uh, I meet members and the community of out and proud, yeah. I, I have now gained more experience and uh, living as a gay man in a free community with friends. That's good. Yes. Thank you very much. Thank you very much. Have a blessed day.